I cannot believe in 2023 we're still having this conversation. I cannot believe in this day and age we are still having this conversation. Now I'm sure me, like many of you, was watching the Xbox event and was generally quite impressed. I'd imagine many of you, just like me, was quite impressed by Starfield. Now I know there's another game out there just like Starfield in many, many ways, that game being No Man's Sky. But there's not many games like that around, right? And Starfield looks like a massive budget AAA version of No Man's Sky. And it looks good, and I'm loving, I'm sucked into the attention to detail. All the, the, the buzzwords the developers are throwing at us, right? They are really building and hyping this thing up. Microsoft are really shoving it down our throats, telling us how much they love Starfield, how much they've invested in it. You should, they have a watch, they have a pad, they have a, it's Starfield crazy, right? And then you get to, the, then you get later on, right? When they do the Q&A. And it is revealed that Starfield will be running at 30 frames per second on the S and the X. Tell me, what is the point in the X? I'm, I'm really confused in what is the point. Because they were screaming 12 teraflops of raw GPU power, right? The most powerful console to ever grace this earth. What's the point? Just buy an S. You're not getting double the frames per second. And look, I'm not here to start a debate whether you can tell the difference or not. You can. It's objective. If you can't, then that's on you. You're in the minority of gamers. Trust me. Because everyone else with working eyes can. And I can't believe that games, AAA, massive budget games, think it's fine to release shit at 30 FPS. Are you mental? Look. So I'm getting hyped for Starfield, and then they drop that bombshell. Well, so basically what that means is, Starfield is going to be a potentially great PC game. Forget about on consoles, man. And I thought, watching the gameplay, that the frames looked a little shoddy. That it looked a little slow. Now some people might argue, it's fine in a game like Starfield. You're just walking around, you're just exploring. And that's another thing about Starfield. Anyone notice how he's never, it never showed any gameplay of actually traveling on anything else other than foot. You're in all these different planets, right? But the character seems to be walking the whole time. It's like Mass Effect where you have a Mako. I didn't see him driving anywhere. Just a little thing I picked up on, you know, is the whole thing just going to be walking around? I don't know, but I, I'm deviating from the point. 30 frames per second. And the developers said some stupid shit too. The developers come out, Todd Howard's like, oh well, we don't want to sacrifice any fidelity. That should be our decision to make, Todd. Right? That should be my decision to make. Give me, I'll take 720p if I can get it at 60 FPS locked. Let the gamers decide what we want, thank you very much. Because personally for me, whenever I switch a game to fidelity mode, I cannot see the added fidelity unless I stand perfectly still. If I stand still and don't move, I can see it a little bit if I look for it, right? But the moment I move and pan a camera and try and, God forbid, fire a gun or use a jetpack, then those frames per second, that 30 FPS, is going to become very, very apparent very, very quick. So it's all oh, we want the fidelity, we don't want to sacrifice anything. Basically translated to means, well, we really want to launch it at some stage. And um, yeah, we'd rather release it 30 FPS, just like Plague's Tale did. And then we'll release a patch for 60, like a year down the line. That's what that means. So you could get Starfield and just wait. You know, because I bought Plague's Tale on launch. Couldn't play it because it was horrible at 30. Waited, then they released a 60 FPS patch. Then I played it. It was alright, it wasn't as good as the first one. But um, that's a major disappointment. So what that's told me is, what this entire event has told me is, look, there's some huge potential with Microsoft. Not Xbox, Microsoft. They have some good stuff coming. And I want in on it. But I'm not doing it on Xbox. This is just, this is the nothing more but validate to me why I need to step into PC gaming once and for all. So I think my plan going forward is PS5, and a gaming PC. I have no idea how to build a PC, but I'll figure out how hard can it be. You now grab a GPU there, a CPU here, and some RAM there, and stick it all in a fancy case, and stick some LED lights on it. 
Job's a good one, right? But Jesus Christ, is this going to continue? 30 FPS all the damn time. Gotham Knights 30, Plague Tale Rec Room 30 FPS. We don't want 30 FPS. What is the point in 12 teraflops, 10 teraflops, every... It's just pissing me off. And I'm sick of these, 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 you know, the people that make excuses for it. We don't care if it's 30, you're the problem. You should care that it's 30. And I've seen some stupid arguments. People saying stuff like, oh, these people, back in my day, we was playing on a Mega Drive. We was playing in a Super Nintendo on the PlayStation 1. We never worried about frames per second. That's like saying, back in my day, we watched TV in black and white. We didn't need colour. And now people are talking about 8K. Ah, oh, who needs to watch things in high fidelity? Back in my day, we didn't even have colour on the screen. Just because you didn't have it back then, shouldn't mean we shouldn't have it now. It's, it's rant over. I just, I saw the 30 FPS thing. I was like, these, these people. Like, <laughs> anyway, rant over. Enjoy your day.